Hello, it's Andrew Bell, Abel Sim here. We're looking at Microsoft Project and the problems of work and duration. The moment I've got a task in my project plan, which is paint room, um, because I put five days duration and assigned a resource called painters, it's defaulted to 40 hours of work and a 400 pound cost. Now, what we actually want to model is the fact that um, there are 20 hours of work but it's going to take us five days to finish it. I mean, at the moment, this guy is doing 40 hours of work in five days. He's saying he's 100% efficient and he's gonna charge all of the time to the project. In reality, the effort on this task is 20 hours. However, if I just put 20 hours in there, the duration reduces to two and a half days, which represents uh, 20 hours. Um, but I actually want to keep uh, this task at five days but when I make it five days, the duration, the work content goes back to 40 hours. So this is how we're going to cure this problem. I'm going to right click in the Gantt chart area to show the split and select the task. And in this form view down here, we can see that uh, we've got the painters. We've got one of them doing 40 hours of work in five days. Now, this task type is defaulted to fixed units. Now this is the default in Microsoft Project. And um, once you understand that the default is fixed units, that's absolutely fine. Because what we need to do now is say that there's 20 hours of work, and I'm going to click OK, and let the computer give me the incorrect duration. I'm now going to fix the work at 20 hours, and I'm going to increase the duration to five days. And this has given me the results I want. There's only 20 hours of work in the task. So there's only a, a 200 pound cost. These painters get 10 pounds an hour. But the duration showing on my Gantt chart is five days. And this is because there's going to be perhaps some waiting time, some preparation time, some setting up time. The guys are going to drink uh, coffee or they're going to talk about the football. They're going to get interrupted. They're going to have to choose the paint color. So 20 hours of work of real active work that they're going to charge to the project in five days uh, is quite reasonable. Now then, the relationship between work and the number of units doing the tasks and the duration is clearly linked. Now there's three variables here, the amount of work, the number of people, and the duration. And what we need to do is make sure that we fix the correct one according to the task type. Go and have a look at the blog on different project management task types. Some task types are fixed duration, some are fixed units, some are fixed work. So if I fix the work here, the work is fixed. If I change the number of resources on the task, let's uh, increase that to two, the computer will change the duration. So now I've put two resources on the task, the duration has reduced to 1.25. Now, let me put uh, four resources on the task. The duration decreases again. It says I've got four painters on this task. It's taking 0.63 of a day. Um, uh, it should be taking, what, about six hours or so. Uh, but that assumes that I've got four sets of paintbrushes, four sets of paint pots, four sets of ladders. So as I've doubled and increased the number of resources on the task, um, I don't always get uh, uh, an exact payback in reduction of duration. As an example, if I was to put 100 painters on this task, the computer is going to tell me it's going to be finished in 0 0.03 days because I've got 100 painters on the task. Uh, let's just have a look at what that means. I can zoom into the selected task. And I can actually see that this is taking um, eight o'clock. Um, is that taking 12 minutes? Thereabouts. Um, uh, which is totally unrealistic. Uh, these, these guys are just going to fall over themselves and there aren't going to be enough paintbrushes, um, paint pots to go around. Uh, so we've got to be careful. Just uh, doubling the resources is not going to halve your duration in real life, but it will in Microsoft Project. Let's put this back to uh, one painter. 20 hours of work. Now, the interesting thing to note here is it doesn't matter how many painters I put on the task, the cost stays the same. 
because the work is fixed at 20 hours. So I also have to assume here that those painters are only going to charge 20 hours to the project. And that if there's 10 of them, they're each going to charge two hours to the project and they are going to get paid in their other time by another project or I don't have to pay them while they're not employed on the project tasks. So uh, an example of how we need to set the task type to be the correct task type. Uh, next little video clip, I'll have a look at a fixed duration task and uh, see what happens there. The important thing here is that the default is fixed units. Most engineering type tasks are fixed work. So we got an estimate of 20 hours of effort. Then we can put in a duration, let's say five days. And the computer, uh, if you select this task, let's have a look at the whole project, let's zoom out a bit. The computer will work out uh, how many resources to put on the task. So what I've now can see in here, I'm just gonna double click here, remove the split. Let's have a look at the resource usage view. And we can see the painters are only busy four hours every day which uh, means they're only going to charge four hours to my project every day, which means they've got time to drink some coffee, set up, arrive a bit late. Now, this is really important when we're stacking up lots of tasks for the same resources, because we will uh, see whether the resources become overloaded, i.e. do they work more than eight hours a day? So there's a quick explanation of uh, fixing the correct task type in Microsoft Project to control the units of uh, resources, the work content and the duration. Thank you for listening.